A few months back when I was looking through the topics on the English Amiga board, a thread caught my eye. The thread was titled, New Atari STE Hard Disk Interface. When the thread was first posted, the thread starter, Masteries, claimed that this was a low-cost alternative to the Satan and Ultra Satan drives for the Atari range of computers. Masteries has recently released a new firmware that now makes this drive faster than the Satan and Ultra Satan. There are a few compatibility issues with this drive, as there is with the Ultra Satan, but these are described in the forum thread. I have not updated my firmware yet, and I will cover this in another video. For now, I will show you the drive and how I received it. I was a little unsure at first, as I did not want to buy something that was not compatible with my Atari. But a few questions from me and a lot of information from Masteries, I paid the money. A little while later, I received a very well padded package from Spain, and inside was my new Atari hard drive. It's a very compact item that is ready made up of three items and requires no soldering. There's an Arduino board, a micro SD adapter and an interface. The unit is powered by a micro USB connection. Masteries made it clear that not all power supplies would work with the unit and has made a small list of compatible power supplies. I have tried a few of mine and none of them have worked. I ended up powering it from the USB port on my Xbox 360. Mastery supplies a link for a hard drive image to download. This is written to an SD card using Win32 Disk Imager. It's as simple as loading the image into Win32 Disk Imager and then writing it to the SD card. Once written to the SD card, insert the card into the unit and we are then ready to boot up our new hard drive. When the Atari eventually has finished its boot up sequence, we are presented with a menu. If nothing is pressed, it will boot to drive C. Other drives can be selected by pressing either D or E. There is also a help page. When Gem has loaded, there is a hard drive icon on the left of the screen. Click this and you are presented with the hard drive's contents. This can be viewed and used as you would any drive on the Atari. I have successfully written files back to the drive. The majority of the files on the drives are games and demos. These have been adapted for the hard drive in a similar way games have been adapted to work using WHD load on the Commodore Amiga. This game is 1943 and this is loaded directly from the hard drive. There has been over a thousand games adapted for the Atari hard drive and these can be downloaded from 8bitchip.info. You can see the game plays absolutely fine, even if I am playing it a little bit badly. Overall I am very impressed with this little device and it is excellent value for the money. I have yet to explore all the functions and play with the hard drive very much, but I wanted to show people what an excellent product this is. If you wish to create your own drives and partitions, you will need to invest 15 euros in this small program. This can be purchased from 8bitchip.info. It is a small price to pay for a great piece of software.